Welcome to my new blog post, blog post 17. And in this blog post, I am going to discuss about database language. So when I talk about database language, it means like uh, it's a mode of a communication between you and uh, the database. So whenever you will write some kind of, uh, uh, you need to write data into the database file, you will utilize the database language in order to do your work. So these database languages are basically appropriate languages and interfaces to express database queries and the updates. These are the queries and updates are basically your instructions that are actually going to your database and retrieving and inserting and fetching and deleting the data. These database languages actually utilize to store, read and update the data in the database in a nutshell. So there are so with, with respect to uh, functionality of the database language, any database language, they need to perform four uh, main functions. Or DBMS language is actually subcategorized into four uh, languages. So first one is DDL. Uh, this is actually the data fish, uh, data, data uh, definition language and it is used to define the database structure or the pattern of the database. Next one is DML, which is actually data manipulation language and it is used for accessing and manipulating the data in the database. So uh, mainly the user is actually utilize these uh, DML uh, parts to uh, perform their bids, right? So, uh, next one is data control language and it is used to basically retrieve or store uh, the safe uh, retrieve the stored or saved data which is actually present in the um, in the uh, database so these are uh, so the last one is tcl which is actually a transaction control language and these are uh, used to uh, run the changes that are uh, run the change changes made by the DML statements. In future blog posts, I'm also going to discuss these four uh, 